Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the UV Physical from LTND SPF 41. So I am an esthetician. I just finished school a couple months ago and I am very knowledgeable about skincare, skincare ingredients, sunscreen, vitamin C, active ingredients, you know. When it comes to products, I know pretty much almost everything. Um, not to say I, there's always more to learn, but I'm very knowledgeable. So this is a physical sunscreen. So basically what that means, it makes a film on your skin and it reflects the UV rays off of your skin. Different from chemical sunscreens, which absorb the rays, turn it into heat and repel the heat away from your skin, which kind of causes a heat reaction in your skin so for people with really sensitive skin it's better to go with physical or mineral sunscreens is what they're also called they're also called inorganic for the physical ones and organic for the chemical ones i don't know why because it makes more sense i don't know so yeah i feel like i have sensitive skin so i like i prefer physical sunscreens and not only is this a physical sunscreen, it also has iron oxides, so it might protect against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light, which basically means the light that makes your hyperpigmentation work, this might help with it because it has iron oxides. When you see iron oxides, it's not a for sure that it's going to help prevent hyperpigmentation, but basically it adds a tint and it might help against hyperpigmentation. Nowadays, um, sunscreens are saying that if it does protect against blue light, blue light is the one that causes hyperpigmentation. So yeah, this is a this is a nice sun. Let's get to the actual sunscreen. So, going on, it has a very, it's pretty moisturizing, but it has a powdery finish. So if you have oily skin, I feel like you'll still like this. As you can see, this is what it's like. It's pretty moisturizing. Like, honestly, during the summer, it's good for me as a moisturizer. But when I was on tretinoin, my skin, when I would put this on, it would make it look like I'm peeling everywhere. Which, it didn't really look like that if I wasn't. Or if I didn't use this. But then when I put this on, it looked like I was peeling. So if you're using tretinoin, keep that in mind. Now I'm using azelaic acid, which... I feel like it's a lot better, but that's for a whole other video. So this has 9% zinc oxide, which pr which protects against UVA and UVB. And then it also has 7% titanium dioxide, which protects against UVB and then some UVA. The other ingredients in here that are beneficial are going to be alumina, which is not really beneficial, but it helps soak up excess oil. But as you can see, like, this is my hand that doesn't have it, and this is my hand that does. It has a little bit more of a glow, a little shiny, but does not, it, it's moisture. It feels like a moisturizer, but it's, I feel like if you have dry skin, you're not going to like this. If you have oil, if you have oily to normal skin, this should be good for you. Like, for me, this is, I put them on, I, in the morning, I put on my vitamin C serum, wait for that to dry, and then I put this over, and that's all I need. So, the other beneficial ingredients are going to be linoleic acid, which helps regulate oil production and also helps with hyperpigmentation. Thioctic acid, which is another antioxidant, which I'm not too sure what that does because it's not a lot of products. But at the very least, it's an antioxidant, so it's going to help your skin in some way. Quercetin, which is another antioxidant. Then iron oxide, which I already talked about. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be all the beneficial ingredients. Um, the smell, it smells like if you've ever used an L10 MD sunscreen before, it smells like that. It smells, it's really hard to describe the smell. It smells like plastic. Not a very nice scent. Um, protection, I feel like this does protect me. Not like it's been really hot over here in LA. Um, so it hasn't been, like, amazing. Like, if I'm gonna go to the beach, like, 
I mean, I went to the beach today and I wore this and I was fine, but the sun was kind of already setting by the time I got there, so. But, like, I feel like this isn't the most protective sunscreen. Like, I feel like this is a good everyday sunscreen. Um, it's, I don't, personally, I don't really reapply. I know, I know, shut up. But, like, most of us don't, okay? Like, I don't really reapply. Um... And I feel like I'm fine. I look paler than I normally do. So I feel like this does a good job. I've been using it every day. Um, I feel like when it gets colder, I'm going to have to switch to a different sunscreen. The other sunscreen I use when it's like drier is this one for normal to dry skin. My skin changes. I'm not always oily. I mean, I'm not really oily at all. Lately, I'm kind of more, like, in between. Um, I'm not... I'm a little more on the oily side. Like, if it's, like, 1 to 10, I'm, like, a 6, you know? If 5 is completely balanced, I'm, like, a 6. And then sometimes I'm, like, a 3 or a 4. So when I'm, like, a 3 or a 4, I use this. When I'm, like, a 6 or a 7, I use this. When I'm a 5, mm, I probably still use this. So, yeah. This is a really good one. Um... I recommend I don't really know what else to say about it uh, oh yeah it does make me look a little bit lighter so if you do have a darker skin type than me I don't think you should get this one like I think if you're like a little bit darker than me then it could be okay but if you're darker than that then I would not go with this one um, if you're lighter than me, this will be perfect for you. But if you do want one and you are darker skin tone than me, and if you want L to MD, I would go with the UV Elements one. That's SPF 44. It's also a mineral one. Um, I feel like this is kind of too light for me, to be honest. Like, the other one that I tried is the UV Restore. That one's really good. I really like that one. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Um... Yeah.